we were adopted and raised by our British mother since 1842. 155 years after, our foster mother left us. Our will was never important. She left us to our father. We were told we are ethnically the same. We were told we should be together. We imagined a bright future as one family with two systems. We assumed we could keep our way of living, like we had the separation of powers, at least for another fifty years. But he didn't keep his promise. Defend our own freedom and autonomy. We built a citadel at a containers terminal. It might be of nostalgic move, referring back to our long history of entreport for free trade. But most importantly, we had to defend our own culture, our identity, safeguarding of what we believe in. We are orphans and never belong to no one. We decided to choose our own path with dignity. We stood up. We occupied. We defended. We lived together and grew organically, like a wall city. We celebrate being on our own, out of control. We built, and we live in the way we want it. We don't think and speak in the same language as our father. Neither verbally nor politically, we continued our beliefs in openness, transparencies, and separation of powers. Within the citadel, the asylum of freedom grew quickly, but secretly. We built our own parliament house, we ran our own systems, and built our lives again from ground up. We were invited to every legislative meeting, and made every decision together. The court was built in the way our mother showed us. Our judges were not pressured. The government did not issue edicts for judges to perform political tasks. There were no interference from any external forces. The judicial independence was upheld and celebrated. The citadel was enclosed by a civic tower fortification, which was never sealed off. It was permeable. We never wanted a wall, but the clean air of democracy, an invisible boundary defending identity and beliefs, so precious, so essential, so easy to attain, but not anymore in this era. The bright light of our towers still flicker, but there is no one at home. It was a utopia. We stood alone in the Far East as guardian of freedom, justice, and democracy. When the world yielded to our powerful father, we hoped that it would be sustainable, that it would last forever. However, we had no successors, and has soon extinct. No one remembers exactly what happened. The citadel now remains empty. No one has ever questioned the reasons of our citadel's existence. Our father has once again distorted the history, and turned our citadel into a tourist attraction. <laughs>